Welcome back. Uh, here's an update on my hex bar deadlifts. I've gotten into these. I've become more consistent with them over the last several weeks. So here's a little history on... So I started these things like in March, right? I started March. I did what? I did one set, January, February, March. I did one set, you know, five reps at 125 pounds. I believe in, you know, easing into things very slowly, especially when you're older. Um, I'm currently 52 years old. So now, you know, about eight months later, uh, I really started getting into it. I really started seeing the value of doing it. I think that it makes your body overall stronger. I think it's a really, really good exercise. I mostly do calisthenics, but I think um, hex bar deadlifts and also the farmer walks are two really, really important exercises to implement as well. About what? Four weeks ago, five weeks ago, I was doing 195 pounds. Then I added 10 pounds the next week to 205, 215, 225. And then this past Saturday, I did 235 for three sets of five reps each. And everything felt good. You know, it all went pretty well. I didn't have any problems. I felt strong. This real quick. So I do nice some breathing. <laughs> like a choo-choo train. It's so funny the noises I make. Felt good though. Didn't feel bad at all. Everything felt decent. My grip felt good. Not bad. Not bad at all. So then I had my second set. So I walk around for about three minutes. I try to hold it for two seconds when I ha when I when I stand up. I want to hold it. I count one Mississippi, two Mississippi in my head because I think there's a lot of benefit to holding the weight. Boy, I look like I'm really struggling, but it really wasn't that bad. <laughs> I think I just like making phases. I don't know. I mean, I really enjoy this actually now. It brings me back to the days years ago, like my high school and college days when I really was you know, pushing myself hard with weights. I don't ever want to do more than 80% now that I'm 52 years old, eight or 90%. So I put chalk on my hands, liquid chalk. So I decided I need to use liquid chalk because my hand was slipping a little bit, a little perspiration. I don't want that to mess my stuff up. Yeah, so liquid chalk really helped with my grip. I really liked it. So this kind of reminds me back in the day when I was younger. Sound like I'm in pain. It felt really good though. Everything felt nice. Okay, so I'm gonna try and increase it by 10 more pounds next week. Yeah, so everything went well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and do 245 next week and see, see how it goes. I don't, you know, I don't see any reason why not at this point because everything went well. I'm 52 years old, so I don't know how much I should be trying to push this. I don't know, you know, but a part of me is really curious to see how much can I actually, you know, lift. You know, how much, how much weights can I do um, without hurting myself? So I don't know where that line is, but I want to add some more weight to it. Yeah, it's fun actually. I really, lo I really look forward to my. I call this my heavy day, my weight days. I add weights to my calisthenics works out, workouts. I wear a you know 25 pound vest for push ups and pull ups and stuff, and and I also do you know heavy farmer walks, and I also do this. So I do this about once every eight days. It's fun. I enjoy it. I love the variety in my workouts. It really gives me something. You know this this hex bar and the farmer walks and all the, my weighted day gives me a a lot of stuff to look forward to um, as the week goes on. So that's it. If you have any questions, just let me know. Thank you so much for watching my video. And, you know, exercise, work out. If you're in your 50s and you're not working out, you should be. You know, start slow. Start very slow and make it a habit. If you have any questions, just uh, ask in the comments below and I'll try to answer them. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.